Hi folks, I got access to XAI Teams Grok chatbot. Yes, Elon Musk X Teams chatbot that they just announced in November that they would be coming out with this thing called Grok that is supposed to be very similar to ChatGPT or Google's bot, but more fun and creative and a casual chatbot that you can rely on. So when you look at what they announced, they basically said Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak. So please don't use it if you hate humor. Yeah, it is supposed to be fun. So when I got access to it, I thought, let me use it and see how well this Grok is when compared to, let's say, Bard or ChatGPT. Not that I'm going to stop using ChatGPT because that's probably the best thing that you could get today. But let's look at what does Grok give us today with the beta feature available for premium plus subscribers of X platform. Yes, if you are a premium plus subscriber, you get the early access to Grok. Your Grok chatbot will appear here in your Twitter profile. And now you can access the chatbot just like you would do ChatGPT and basically do the things that you would do. Ask about things that are trending on X, ask about things that are news now. So first things first, I always love to see if a chatbot is able to help me plan a trip to a national park. That's what I do every time somebody tells me, okay, here's a new chatbot, I will go and test it out. So let's test it out with Grok. Plan a trip to Nope, it's too many spelling mistakes. Glacier National Park. So now it's going and searching for the trip planner. And you can see that I have the fun mode selected here. So the fun mode is helping the bot to be funny and you know be that rebellious streak that the announcement post was talking about. You could change that to regular mode, but let's just keep it in the fun mode and see how well it is, right? So here it is like talking about, you know, what should I be doing first? You know, I need to have a park map handy and then decide when to visit, you know, you know, decide about accommodations. So that's kind of like entry level to like, okay, what does a prompt like plan a trip mean? Now I'm going to take it a bit further, plan a, you know, three day trip. Please, let's see what it does now. It should be giving me day one, day two, day three, and talk about on different activities that I can be doing on day one, day two, day three. So here it is, that's great. So day one, West Glacier, and it's giving me all the data. Day two, go visit East Glacier, great. So there is some plan and methodology here, so which is great. And day three, go visit North Fork area. So. It also gives me some tweets. Sometimes I don't really, you know, get along with this tweet results that it's giving me because sometimes I don't know whether they actually help me with my query here because I would love to see the Glacier National Park X account come up here. But for some reason, I usually get other users X account and not the official account if you have, in this case, the Glacier National Park official account. Okay, let's ask now something like, I will be traveling from Seattle by car. Okay, let's see what it does now. Best route from Seattle to Glacier National Park by car. So that's by car. So that's a good thing. Great, a road trip is good. To make the most of your trip, consider stopping at some of the interesting places mentioned in the X post. Blah, 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 blah. But it didn't really update my itinerary based on that. So let's see, update my itinerary based on this. Okay, let's see what it does. It's trying to do the search. I don't know whether it's actually searching the X platform or searching its knowledge base or searching the internet. It's pretty unclear to me what it does, but sometimes, you know, when you ask for things on the latest trend, it does search the X platform because that's the beauty and the promise that Grok 
gives you is it has the power of all of the trends and news and all the updates that are happening on the X platform, it has access to that. So it's trying to make sure it can give you the latest information using all of the things that are happening on the X platform. So we did get back the plan for day one, day two, day three, but not quite something that I would expect because I still don't see my route planned here. Well, where is my route plan? in this itinerary you seem to have missed it grog oh boy i don't know i'm just giving some funny prompts here let's see what it comes up with it's supposed to be fun so you know you should have some fun too oh dear it seems i might have had a temporary glitch in my humor circuits let's get that root plan sorted out for you shall we that's neat you know i like that it's friendly it's casual it's replying to you the same way you asked a question in that style so what do i get now morning arrive okay i still don't have my root plan i still don't have my root plan from seattle what are you doing okay just pushing it you can see it's struggling a bit right if this was chat gpt you might have had the answer by now so, you know now it's coming up with the right suggestions like day one you know go from seattle to spokane day two go from spokane to kalispell and then day three go from kalispell to glacier national park so it's giving you that breakdown itinerary i do need the three days that i asked for in the glacier national park so it doesn't give that so so it's still early it's still a beta so I think there's a lot more to do here. Now let's go on to the next topic, right? Which is getting the latest trends, right? So latest trends, let's, you know, ask about what week in NFL are we? Okay, let's see if it gets the right week number. So it should come up as NFL week 13 of the NFL season. Well, technically it is correct, because coming weekend, December 10th, is week 14. So let's go back to Grok and say, are you sure? Right, so let's ask if this is week 13 or week 14. So I'm just pushing the bot. Okay, well, I'm like a well-oiled machine, but with a sense of humor, uh, week 13 of the NFL, okay. It is talking about the week 13 match because I can see Cowboys and Seattle and Lions managed to survive a close game against New Orleans Saints. So seems like we are getting there. What about week 14? Okay, let's get that going. Now, from my experience, I've seen Grok hallucinate a lot in the latest news. And when I tested the NFL scenario that I'm showing you right now, there are a lot of hallucinations. So let's make sure, do we get those now or was that just a temporary glitch with the X uh, Grok platform? Okay, so to do to do it gives me certain things that I really don't want. So let's say list all the games for week 14. Okay, let's see what it does now. So again, you can see that this is using the latest information it knows, unlike ChatGPT, which is having a knowledge cutoff, right? So it says, here is the list of NFL games. We have New England Patriots, Pittsburgh Steelers, Seahawks, and 49ers. Woohoo, I know that game because I'm following Seahawks, obviously. So. Um, that is indeed true. Let's pick something. Tampa Bay Buccaneers and at Atlanta Falcons. So here's, here's the latest data from NFL website, right? So we do have Buccaneers at Falcons. So if you go back here, you see that. Awesome. So predict who will win for all games. Okay, let's see if it's able to predict that. And now it's going to go and fetch information again here i don't know whether it's actually searching its knowledge base or it's searching you know internet or it's searching x but good thing we at least see what it's searching for 
So here it says that this is a tough one to call for New England Patriots and Pittsburgh Steelers. But you know what? I think Patriots and Steelers did play and looks like Patriots won. So it still wasn't able to get that information in here. But let's look at Seattle Seahawks at San Francisco 49ers. This is another tough one to call, but I think 49ers will win at home in this NFC West matchup. You know what? As much as I love my team Seahawks, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, this could be true that 49ers have the upper hand given how great they're playing. So, so that's the NFL news, right? So now this is a great thing to show you how this uh, particular query uh, works in ChatGPT, right? So you uh, go and paste the same query about what week in NFL are we to ChatGPT 3.5. It's going to say, hey, I don't have access to real-time information. You know, I can't help you out, bro, here. Sorry, right? And if you switch to GPT-4, that if you have the uh, plus subscription, and ask the same question, it's going to go to internet using Bing, and it's gonna come up with the information with what we got with the Grok chatbot. So I did a quick search. We are currently in week 14 of the NFL season. So that's what I was saying, like here, it takes the week that got completed as week 13, and here, in ChatGPT, it takes the upcoming week, which is the 14. And if you do the same query here in BART, which is now powered with the Google's Gemini Pro model, it has access to all the information. It's Google, so it gives you everything. So as of today, Friday, December 8th, we are currently in week 14. So this is very specific, right? And this is, this is why I like BART in certain instances where BART is very specific, like as of today, December 8th, like we are in week 14, that's very clear. So maybe, you know, that's the difference between the Grok platform and the other platforms here, like they're taking the current day into account. So that is Grok for the latest, you know, news and trends that you want to look at. Now, if you want to also do something like tell me the latest on uh, AI and machine learning. So it's actually looking at all of the details you get in the X platform, obviously, and it will summarize everything about what has been going on, right? So that's the power of Grok that it's able to go and look at those things. Now, uh, the other thing I found very funny is like, I thought, hmm, this is my Twitter profile. So maybe I can have this chat bot tell me about what should I tweet next right? So I can say, hey, go through my X post and suggest something to post next. So, you know, hopefully this goes and looks at my post and then tells me about what I can post. Great. But look what's happening here. Hey there, it seems like you haven't posted anything on X yet. Oh my God, like, no, I, I do have an X account. I have posted a lot. So what is going on here? I think it's not able to infer the my, right? So it's like my post, my replies, my followers. I don't think Grok is able to do that. Instead, if you do something like this, which let's check, go through, you know, the Twitter handles, X post and suggest something to post next right? So I think now it will go and search the post by that Twitter handle. And I think it will suggest something now, which it says, when you finally get your AI to understand your commands, and it replies with a bazinga, you know, a tech humor. So it's suggesting that, hey, I'm this user, this handle, which here is me, uh, is into tech and AI. So let's go do some funny AI uh, meme or a joke about it. Okay. So that's, that's something you can do as well. You can point at a Twitter handle and then ask about things about that Twitter handle. So Grok was just trained two months. You can see here that it was just trained two months. So the quality is not going to be up to the mark. And you saw already that it is not, but it's a fun chatbot to use and if you have access to it, do let me know how you find it. And if you did 
prompt something and it came up really with a funny thing, you know, do share in the comments or do reply to me on the X platform. Until next time, bye.